Good morning, boys and girls. It is I, your good friend, North Sentinel Island. Today, we're talking about the incubation of certain species of mushrooms that will not be disclosing. And, as you can see here, their potential contamination with other products. Mainly what appears to be a penicillium type mold. As you can see here is another good example of what I think is a pen penicillium type mold. And here too. Even though this penicillium mold is the same as the first one that I was talking about. Let's talk about look at example two. As you see here, if you look at the bottom, it looks like it's doing better, but as you can see here, the penicillium is taking hold. And soon I expect it's going to conquer the world, which is very sad. As I wanted my species of mushroom to win. Which is not going to be disclosed. In case people that want a control group to compare this with, this is similar. It's just a control group. It's the same exact crap. Just stuff on the bottom. I just use a darker, uh, I use rye instead of brown rice flour. Here, we got a second batch growing. We got 42 minutes left. Hopefully this is going to kill whatever is growing. And we, I'm, well, I'm not showing you the label, but these are the spores of... The mushroom that I'm growing for uh, scientific purposes only. And the website actually says to just simply let this, like, it's about 10 o'clock now. But I'm just interested in just maybe just cooking this an extra hour. Obviously, add some extra water to it, but <laughs> this stuff knocked me off like 40 bucks to get that extra syringe. And as you could guess, I want it to like cook properly. But here we are, and just want to let you know about that. It's an update on my attempt to grow mushrooms in such a way that. For scientific purposes only. Just stand by. I'll give you an update. Bye.